Hello guys, in this video I will show you the autosomal DNA results, uh, traits, predicted appearance, predicted illnesses that he was predisposed to based on his genetics, and of course GD match results of a Kosice, excuse my pronunciation, I'm not Polish, uh, but this is a Polish town and this guy was a part of the global arm for a culture and lived in Poland in the, I think, the Neolithic. This is his phenotype prediction with Nashakot, it's predicting him to have blue eyes with an amber center, uh, Greek shaped nose and blonde hair. By the way, one thing that's interesting, and I did a screenshot, put it on the screen for you guys. Uh, he was homozygous for every single SNP within the OCA2 and HERC2 region uh, that my Nashakot actually looks for, and he had two derived alleles, which, me which means two light alleles for every single SNP in the OCA2 and HERC2 region. This is so rare. I cannot stress how rare this is. You don't re you don't see this with modern people. Uh, however, despite this extremely light genotype in OCA2 and HERC2, he had some other genes that basically made him have predisposition towards blue eyes with an amber center rather than just blue eyes. He was a no-go learner and had a typical European genotype in DRD2, which means uh, less uh, dopamine D2 receptors, which is very typical for Europeans. He was a warrior with the IE, which is also very typical for Europeans, which means uh, slower reuptake of dopamine, uh, which means more dopamine in the system, which means advantage in memory and attention tasks, as it says on the screen. According to his genotype in this variation in Act 1, he had a lower odds of cannabis-induced psychosis, which is also very typical for Europeans. So far, every genotype he had that correlates with like uh, mental health is very typical for Europeans. He did not have derived EDAR, which is an East Asian uh, gene that's implicated in mongoloid phenotype like big cheekbones, straight hair, shovel-shaped ancestors, epicanthic folds. So this person did not have this gene, did not have this phenotype. He also did not have the European lactose persistence mutation and was likely lactose intolerant. This is actually like the only genotype that is not typical for Europeans that he had. He did not have derived OXTR, which is the closest uh, we have to the sociopath gene, so no sociopath gene. He had a slightly high risk of coronary heart disease, he also had a low risk of Crohn's disease, an incredibly high risk of Parkinson's, a high risk of type 2 diabetes, an average risk of schizophrenia and bipolar, and also an average risk of asthma. Moving on to his GD match results, this is what he scores with the ancient Eurasia K6 calculator. Uh, what can we notice? We can notice the big difference between this result and like a typical modern Polish result. In the modern Polish result, you would see about 20% uh, ancestral North Eurasian, but on this result, uh, this number is only 5% and the majority is Natufian and Western hunter-gatherer. This is what he scores with the oracle for this calculator. Now, the oracle is modeling him as a mixture of Sardinian and either Scandinavian hunter-gatherer or Western hunter-gatherer. The reason he's getting the hunter-gatherer part and not just pure Sardinian, and as a lot of people would think, uh, is because although this is a European farmer, he is not identical to the Anatolian farmers that populated si uh, Sardinia. Uh, relative to the Anatolian farmers, he actually had a little bit of this native European hunter-gatherer admixture. This is what he scores with Gedrosia K3. Uh, notice how he scores a little bit of Sub-Saharan African. Uh, this is a very typical for all the farmers of the Mediterranean, and Mediterraneans in general, uh, always score a little bit of Sub-Saharan African with this calculator. And here is his result with Eurogenes K13. Now, this is looking very, um, it's looking very West Mediterranean, and I'm surprised by the amount of North Atlantic that he scored. Uh, perhaps this is because uh, global amphora is ancestral to people who get the most North Atlantic on this calculator, on Eurogenes K13. I don't know why he's scoring so much North Atlantic. And here is the oracle for Eurogenes K13 in single populations. He's closest to Spanish from Andalusia, but it's a very high distance. And in mixed mode population, he's closest to a mixture of like Sardinians and Basques or Sardinians and Southwest French, uh, with actually a pretty decent distance. Here is his result with, uh, with MDLP K11. Uh, one thing that surprised me is that he actually scored 7% Caucasus hunter-gatherer with this calculator. Uh, this was not expected. Uh, I don't have an explanation for this, actually. If you have an explanation in the comments, leave it down below. The oracle for MDLP K11 is modeling him as a mixture of, like, basically two-thirds Anatolian Neolithic and one-third Scandinavian Mesolithic hunter-gatherer. So this guy had plenty of native European HG admixture. 
here is his result with pun DNA LK10. Uh, here he doesn't score any CHG, only 2%. Uh, but you might be wondering why is he getting so much uh, Western Hunter Gatherer? Shouldn't he be getting mostly ENF? Uh, the reason he's getting mostly Western Hunter Gatherer and less ENF is because ENF on this calculator represents something even more southern than like Anatolian farmers, Anatolian hunter gatherers. It's representing like Zuzuana or maybe even Natufians. The oracle for this calculator is modeling, modeling him as a mixture of Basques with something uh, from the south, the south of the Mediterranean. But uh, really, the distance is not so good, and the distance is not so good because all of these populations have more CHG than him. And here is his result with Pun DNA LK12. Uh, with this calculator, he's scoring only 0.5% Caucasus HG. The oracle for this calculator is modeling him as a mixture of Basque with something from. Uh, basically North Africa, but with very bad distance. The distance is bad because all of these groups have more CHG than him. And the two-way oracle is modeling him as a mixture of a bunch of groups I don't know. Uh, except I know Iberia Chalcolithic. Iberia Chalcolithic is farmer. So it's modeling him as a mixture of 85% Western European farmer plus 14.5% Bichon. I know Bichon is a hunter-gatherer. Here I made a simulation for him on the basis of his MDLPK11 results. Now, those G25 sims are not that good, so he's actually not very similar to like um, global uh, unforest samples I found on G25. So this is just because it's a bad sim. And here is his closest modern populations in G25 with a sim I made from his MDLPK27 results. So although the simulations are not that good and they're very flawed, very faulty, we can agree that he was most similar to like Basques and Southwest Spanish and like uh, Sardinians. Thanks for having watched until the end. Uh, you can download the sample in 23andMe format. Uh, the link to download the sample will be in the description and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.